Hello heroes, Joe Smith here. Sorry it's so dark. Laying in bed, having trouble sleeping here. Um, just thought of an uh, old story. Uh, Joe Smith's dad once told him years and years ago. It's a story about these three sisters and their flute. Mary, age 15. Every day after school, we would whittle away a piece of wood with a carving knife and a couple other tools and some sandpaper and finally made a flute. Worked very hard, made a very nice flute. She tried playing it. Uh, it didn't sound too good or she wasn't too good. Her younger sister, Beth, age uh, 13, come over and said, let me try. Beth played it. It sounded beautiful. They both were like, oh my God, you, you, this sounds perfect. And, and Mary's like, well, guess, guess I just need some more practice, maybe. And... Um, her sister, uh, Beth, said, you know, yeah, because uh, I'm playing it, and it sounds perfect. And you've done such a wonderful job on this. Uh, and then Beth went on to say, you know what? Since I'm better at playing this than you are, and I've always wanted a flute, I should get you to keep this. After all, you can't play it. But you do know how to make more, so you can go ahead and make more. So why don't you just give this to me, and then you can make another one, and then you can learn how to play that one later on. And then the, the other sister, the third sister, uh, Jane, age 11, comes walking in after hearing the music, and what's going on? And, and uh... Beth uh, played the flute a little bit, and it's like, look, uh, Mary just made this. Or this is what Mary's been working on after school every day for the past month. And uh, Jane was, 11-year-old Jane was like, oh, all my girlfriends in school have uh, flutes or instruments. And I've always wanted a flute and to learn how to play, and, so, uh, won't you, won't you give this one to me? That way, I can be equal to all my friends. And after all, you, like Beth said, Mary, you can always make more. Make another one for Beth, and make another one for you later. But Mary said, "No, I made this. I worked hard on this. I invested my time." An effort into making this. I created this. I want to keep it. I'll learn how to play it. Uh, if you guys want one, go to the store and buy one. And uh, Mary said that she doesn't have time to make more. She's got some other stuff coming up that she wants to do too. So they all start arguing over it. Mary said because she created it that she should keep it. It's hers. She made it. It's hers. It belongs to her. Uh, Beth said, well, if she can make the best use of it. She can make the best use of that creation. So she should get it. And then Jane said, well, you should feel sorry for me. I'm the youngest. And you should help me be equal to all my friends at school. I want what they have. And then the, the dad comes walking in. Uh, Sam was his name. Sam come walking in. Daddy Sam. They're like, Daddy, Daddy. Um, they all start 
saying, well, we're fighting over this food. Uh, Mary's like, I made it, I should keep it. And Beth's like, well, if she don't know how to play it, I do. I can make the best use of it, I should get it. And Jane was like, well, I've always wanted one because all my friends at school have instruments that they play. And I'm the only one that don't. So you should feel sorry for me. And help me be equal. So their dad comes up with an idea. Since uh, sister, the two younger sisters were saying that he should uh, he should redistribute the Mary's uh, flute to uh, one of them, and so their dad he uh, took the flute from Mary and said that he's going to redistribute it and make everyone equal. So the dad went and um, to the pawn shop and sold the flute for 20 bucks. On his way home, he stopped and got a case of beer for $17. And then when he got home, he handed each of the daughters a dollar each and said, here, you're now all equal. End of story. So, those of you, a lot of you heroes out there probably, probably kind of know what this story is really about. What the, the moral of the story is here. Um, that is Satchel and uh, Ashley uh, Anology type story. Uh, or whatever it's called. So, just think about for, if you're not sure, just, just kind of think about it for a little bit. Those of you that do know, go ahead and post comments, explain it to those that might not know what the story is actually about. Thanks for listening. Joseph Smith signing out.